So here's part three, finding the pH at the equivalence point. At the equivalence point, you will be adding the same amount of base as acid. So as you can see, we added 50 milliliters of base, and we started with 50 milliliters of acid, and they're both the same concentration, so that means both of them are present in the same amount, or concentration, rather. All right, so this can be a little bit confusing at first. So we added, let's just say we started with 50 mils of 0 0.1 molar HCN. Then we added to that 50 mils of 0 0.1 molar NaOH. Okay, so if you did do this, you're going to have your hydrogen and your oxygen reacting to make water, which is what an acid and base does. And you're going to be left with your Na and your Cn. You don't really care about the Na, so let's just scribble that out. And then you're left with your um, cyanide. <laughs> So we have 100 milliliters total. And so what's the concentration of the cyanide? Is it going to be 0 0.1? Well, obviously, no, it is not. It's only going to be half of this, because you started with a concentration. You dilute it by half. The concentration gets halved. So you have 0 0.05 molar. CN minus, which dissociates fully from the sodium, so you don't even have to worry about the sodium. All right, so now this is going to react with water in turn to yield um, the hydrogen cyanide seen up here, as well as hydroxi a hydroxide ion. So what do we do then? Well, we break out our handy dandy ice table and we start filling it in. And as you can see here, this is not an acid as it was previously, and as is most of the time when you see it. It's a base. So that means we're going to be having to use Kb here, not Ka. So that will that'll be important later. All right, so initial concentration of Cn minus is 0 0.05. This is 0, and this is 0. So this is minus x. So we're going to have 0 0.05 minus x plus x and plus x, x and x. <clears throat> okay, so then this will give us, I'm going to draw a line right here. This is going to give us our x squared. Ooh, that's a messy x squared x squared over top of 0 0.05 minus x. And this is equal to our Kb. We're not doing Ka anymore because this is a base right here. And that's equal to 1.613 times 10 to the negative 5. And you do all your algebra, and you do your quadratic formula, and you get x equals 8.9002 molar. And, oh, nope, it isn't molar, it's 8.9002 times 10 to the negative 4. And, you know, x is equal to the concentration of your hydroxide ion. So we can't find pH initially, right here. We have to find pOH first. So you can probably imagine how to do that. You just p your OH concentration. So you take negative log, 
I'm going to use my text again because that's easier. So negative log of 8.9002 times 10 to the power of, oh, that's not going to fit. That's what she said. Negative 4. And that gives you a POH of 3.0506. And then we know pH equals 14 minus POH. Uh, which in turn would equal 14 minus 3.0506, which is about 10.9494. So this is how you find the pH at the equivalence point.